The AND formula is a formula that will help you pull certain data if certain criteria is met. It's a formula that's nested inside another formula. It is very beneficial. And don't worry, it is extremely easy to build out. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Hi, I'm Justin Razio. I'm your Smartsheet Guide. And today, we're going to learn about the AND formula in Smartsheet. Let's dive in. So when we, again, I'm going to create a sheet from scratch. We're going to create new. Choose a sheet. We'll call this test sheet for and formula. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some dummy data first. Call this the budget. Call this the actuals. Do a contact here. Maybe it's let's do sales rep. And then we'll make this a checkbox. All right, so we'll put in some dummy data here. We'll do it ten dollars, five dollars, six dollars, nine dollars, eight dollars, four dollars. We'll do the same here. We'll do the actuals. We'll do maybe it came in at. 3.23, 3 3.22, 1.22, we'll do 4.1, we'll do this one, and there we go. And then we'll make both of these dollar amount. And let's add a profit. We're just going to do a simple formula. Let's do equals sum. And we're going to say the budget minus the actual. Click enter. Turn this into a column formula. I'm just going to right click into the cell, click convert to column formula. And then we'll highlight this, make this a currency. And there we go. And then we'll do the sales rep. Put in some random names here. And then we'll do a other guy here. Maybe we'll do that. All right, so we have a checkbox here. And for this AND formula, so an AND formula is nested and can be nested inside another formula. That's usually how it's used. An AND formula is nested inside another formula. So I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to, I want these boxes to be checked if the profit is higher than $3. So we're going to do that first. We'll do if profit is greater than three. Oops. Profit is greater than three, and do a comma, then we're going to check the box. And then if it's not greater than three, comma, it's not going to be checked. So for an if formula inside a checkbox column, the last two right here, value of true. So the argument is, logical expression is if profit is greater than three, and value if true, so value if true is if the profit is greater than three, then I want the box to be checked. If it's true, if value is greater than three, if that's true, then I want it to be checked, which is a one. If the value if the value is false, if in other words, if profit is not greater than three, if it's false, if it's not greater than three, then I want the I want it to stay unchecked. I want it to be a zero. So that's what that's saying here. So I'm gonna click enter, convert this to a column formula, and there we go. All right, but maybe I want to add more to this formula. So instead of we'll open this up, right click, click edit column formula. So instead of it just being greater than three dollars, maybe I also want it to be. Maybe I also want it to say, I only want it, this box to be checked if the profit is greater than three dollars, and if office admin is associated with that profit. So in order to do that, 
I'm going to go over here where it says if and after the per, uh, parenthesis here, I'm going to click in between. I'm going to start typing in the word and. Then I'm going to put another parenthesis. And then I'm going to close it right here because I'm just focused on the argument, on the logical expression. So I'm going to go ahead and close it right here. Because again, I don't want to touch these. This is checked if it's true, unchecked if it's false. So in my and argument right here, I'm going to go ahead and put a comma here. I'm going to say and if the sales rep equals office admin. And what's cool about this, so you can see in the logical expression, is if I just keep clicking comma, I can just keep adding arguments. I can add a zillion arguments, like if this and, if this is done, and if this is so, and if I can just keep clicking it. So I just do a comma, write an argument, comma, write an argument. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna close it inside the parentheses right here for the and argument. So the two arguments now are if profit is greater than $3 and if the sales rep is equals to office admin. So let's click enter and see what happens to the checkboxes now. So now just these two are checked. See that? So even though John Johnson is greater than $3, it's not checked because John Johnson is not office admin. Hey guys, real quick, if you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that'll be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are, I show you a brief description how to use them, and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide, it's one sheet, it's all yours, I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this video. So watch, this box is gonna be checked when I reverse the formula, when I take the AND formula out. See, there it is, because there's no AND in there. But if I move it forward, the AND formula is in there. Because it is greater than $3, but it is not the office admin. All right, hope this formula helps. As always, take care and God bless.